This month, counties across Montana have begun adopting resolutions, saying they won't charge the full amount of property taxes the state has asked them for. It's based on a question of law that the Montana Supreme Court is now asking counties to respond to. A disagreement has been brewing for months between counties and the state over the one share of property taxes set by the state, known as the 95 mills. That money is intended to ensure equity in education across Montana's school districts. For every $1,000 of taxable value on a property, one mill charges $1 in taxes. Local governments have a cap on how many mills they can charge so that their revenues rise by less than the inflation rate. Many county leaders are arguing state law should also require the equalization mills to be capped, and they're proposing to reduce the number of mills they collect on behalf of the state. State leaders have argued they have the authority to bank mills they didn't charge in previous years, allowing the 95 mills to stay constant. Earlier this month, the state filed in district court, asking a judge to stop the county's move and rule the state's interpretation is correct. Then, last week, the Montana Quality Education Coalition asked the state Supreme Court to step in. The group, which includes a number of public education organizations, said counties lowering the mills now could remove millions of dollars in school funding and leave no way to recover cover the money later if a court rules in the state's favor. The Supreme Court has issued an order, giving the counties 30 days to respond to that filing. Counties lowering their mills have argued the equalization funding goes into the state general fund, so the state can make up any loss to school revenues. One big question still out there is just how quickly this issue might get resolved. Property tax bills are scheduled to go out soon to people across Montana. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.